Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. I will arise and go to my father, and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. Dearly beloved brethren, the scripture moveth us in sundry places to acknowledge and confess our manifold sins and wickedness, and that we should not dissemble nor cloak them before the face of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, but confess them with an humble, lowly, penitent and obedient heart, to the end that we may obtain forgiveness of the same by his infinite goodness and mercy. And although we ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before God, yet ought we most chiefly so to do when we assemble and meet together, to render thanks for the great benefits that we have received at his hands, to set forth his most worthy praise, to hear his most holy word, and to ask those things which are requisite and necessary, as well for the body as the soul. Wherefore I pray and beseech you, as many as are here present, to accompany me with a pure heart and humble voice unto the throne of the heavenly grace, saying after me, Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us miserable offenders. Spare thou them, O God, which confess their faults. Restore thou them that are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Grant we beseech thee, merciful Lord, to thy faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve thee with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Psalm 119.
from verse 73. Thy hands have made me and fashioned me, O give me understanding, that I may learn thy commandments. They that fear thee will be glad when they see me, because I have put my trust in thy word. I know, O Lord, that thy judgments are right, and that thou of very faithfulness has, hast caused me to be troubled. O oh, let thy merciful kindness be my comfort, according to thy word unto thy servant. O oh, let thy loving mercies come unto me, that I may live, for thy law is my delight. Let the proud be confounded, for they go wickedly about to destroy me, but I will be occupied in thy commandments. Let such as fear thee and have known thy testimonies be turned unto me. O oh, let my heart be sound in thy statutes, that I be not ashamed. My soul hath longed for thy salvation, and I have a good hope because of thy word. Mine eyes long sore for thy word, saying, O oh, when wilt thou comfort me? For I am become like a bottle in the smoke, yet do I not forget thy statutes. How many are the days of thy servant? When wilt thou be avenged of them that persecute me? The proud have digged pits for me, which are not after thy law. All thy commandments are true, they persecute me falsely, O oh, be thou my help. They had almost made an end of me upon earth, but I forsook not thy commandments. O oh, quicken me after thy loving kindness, and so shall I keep the testimonies of thy mouth. O oh, Lord, Thy word endureth for ever in heaven. Thy truth also remaineth from one generation to another. Thou hast laid the foundation of the earth, and it abideth. They continue this day according to thine ordinance, for all things serve thee. If my delight had not been in thy law, I should have perished in my trouble. I will never forget thy commandments, for with them thou hast quickened me. I am thine, O oh, save me, for I have sought thy commandments. The ungodly laid wait for me to destroy me, but I will consider thy testimonies. I see that all things come to an end, but thy commandments, is exceeding broad. Lord, what love have I unto thy law! All the day long is my study in it. Thou, through thy commandments, hast made me wiser than mine enemies, for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than my teachers, for thy testimonies are my study. I am wiser than the aged, because I keep thy commandments. I have refrained my feet from every evil way, that I may keep thy word. I have not shrunk from thy judgments, for thou teachest me. O oh, how sweet are thy words unto my throat, yea, sweeter than honey unto my mouth. Through thy commandments I get understanding, Therefore I hate all evil ways. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
The Old Testament Lesson from Nehemiah chapter 13 from verse 15 to the end. In those days saw I in Judah some treading winepresses on the Sabbath and bringing in sheaves and lading asses as also wine, grapes, and figs, and all manner of burdens, which they brought unto Jerusalem on the Sabbath day. And I testified against them in the day wherein they sold victuals. There dwelt men of Tyre also therein, which brought fish and all manner of ware, and sold on the Sabbath unto the children of Judah and in Jerusalem. Then I contended with the nobles of Judah, and said unto them, What evil thing is this that ye do, and profane the Sabbath day? Did not your fathers thus, and did not our God bring all this evil upon us, and upon this city? Yet ye bring more wrath upon Israel by profaning the Sabbath. And it came to pass that when the gates of Jerusalem began to be dark before the Sabbath, I commanded that the gates should be shut, and charged that they should not be opened till after the Sabbath. And some of my servants set I at the gates, that there, that there should no burden be brought in on the Sabbath day. So the merchants and sellers of all kind of ware lodged without Jerusalem once or twice. Then I testified against them and said unto them, Why lodge ye again about the wall? If ye do so again, I will lay hands on you. From that time forth came they no more on the Sabbath. And I commanded the Levites that they should cleanse themselves and that they should come and keep the gates to sanctify the Sabbath day. Remember me, O my God, concerning this also, and spare me according to the greatness of thy mercy. In those days also saw I Jews that had married wives of Ashdod of Ammon and of Moab, and their children spake half in the speak of Ashdod, and could not speak in the Jews' language, but according to the language of each people. And I contended with them, and cursed them, and smote certain of them, and plucked off their hair, and made them swear by God, saying, Ye shall not give your daughters unto their sons, nor take their daughters unto your sons, or for yourselves. Did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin by these things? Yet among many nations was there no king like him who was beloved of his God, and God made him king over all Israel. Nevertheless, even him did outlandish women cause to sin. Shall we then hearken unto you to do all this great evil, to transgress against our God, in marrying strange wives. And one of the sons of Joiada, the son of Eliashib, the high priest, was son-in-law to Sanbalat, the Horonite, therefore I chased him from me. Remember them, O my God, because they have defiled the priesthood and the covenant of the priesthood and of the Levites. Thus cleansed I them from all strangers, and appointed the wards of the priests and the Levites, every one of in his business. And for the wood offering, at times appointed, and for the first fruits, remember me, O, o my God, for good. Here endeth the lesson. My soul doth magnify the Lord, 
and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath hope in his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The New Testament lesson from the First Epistle General of St. John, chapter 1. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life, for the life was manifested, and we have seen it, and bear witness, and show unto you that eternal life which was with the Father, and was manifested unto us. That which we have seen and heard, declare we unto you, that ye also may have fellowship with us, and truly our fellowship is with the Father, and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And these things write we unto you, that your joy may be full. This then is the message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you, that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him, and walk in darkness, we lie, and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ his Son cleanseth us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. Here endeth the lesson. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. 
From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. O Lord, we beseech thee mercifully to hear us, and grant that we, to whom thou hast given an hearty desire to pray, may by thy mighty aid be defended and comforted in all dangers and adversities, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed. Give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness, through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Light in our darkness we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, high and mighty, King of kings, Lord of lords, the only ruler of princes, who dost from thy throne behold all the dwellers upon earth, most heartily we beseech thee with thy favour to behold our most gracious Sovereign Lady, Queen Elizabeth, and so replenish her with the grace of thy Holy Spirit, that she may always incline to thy will and walk in thy way. Endue her plenteously with heavenly gifts. Grant her in health and wealth long to live. Strengthen her that she may vanquish and overcome all her enemies. And finally, after this life, she may attain everlasting joy and felicity. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, the fountain of all goodness, we humbly beseech thee to bless Charles, Prince of Wales, and all the royal family. Endure them with thy Holy Spirit. Enrich them with thy heavenly grace, prosper them with all happiness, and bring them to thine everlasting kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, who alone workest great marvels, send down upon our bishops and curates, and all congregations committed to their charge, the healthful spirit of thy grace, and that they may truly please thee, Pour upon them the continual dew of thy blessing. 
Grant this, O Lord, for the honour of our Advocate and Mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, who hast given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfil now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost, be with us all evermore. Amen.